Hey there, this is Lee of Lee Launches back with another video. In this video, I want to show you how to improve Etsy listings using a new tool. I'll also show you how I'm using the tool on my own Etsy store. So this video is part of a series of videos where I'm creating an Etsy store completely from scratch. It's an Etsy digital download store. There's a link in the description below if you want to go and watch the other videos in this series. So if you're new here, then my name is Lee and I like to create videos just like this on how to create digital assets to sell online. So make sure you click subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified every time I create a new video. So without further delay, let's get into the video. So this is my store, Launch Kits. I've recently created the banner, I've recently created my store logo and I'm currently working on new items for my store. So these are the items that I've got on here so far. I put these items up very quickly to see if I could get any sales. And I've already learned a lot since I put these items up. I've had zero sales. And the item that I'm going to be improving and the item that I'm developing is this YouTube branding kit. In fact, I'm going to be creating a number of different YouTube branding kits to sell on my store. And that's what I'm currently working on. And I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to optimize this item in this video. So the tool we're going to be using is the new Allura listing helper. So I've talked about the Allura Chrome extension in previous videos. And in this video, I want to go into more detail on how to improve the ranking and listing of an item using the steps that the Allura listing helper tells us to take. So as you can see, the listing helper is giving my channel a overall score and this says that the Allura listing score is based on Etsy seller handbook and it's my listing title, photos, description tags and key metrics to score my listing from 1 to 100. So I've got 50. I don't know if that's good. That seems good to me. And then these are my items and this is the item I want to improve and you can see it's got an overall score of 67. So if we click into this listing, we can see that there's further recommendations that the listing tool is making about my listing. So it's saying my title, the length is good, 199 characters, I've got three focused keywords and I'm repeating the keywords. No, I'm not repeating the keywords. I don't know why I've got a green tick there, but anyway, it's given me three out of three. I've got photos. It's saying my photos are good. I've got eight photos, so that's good. I plan to add more photos to my branding kit as I improve it in a future video. It's saying my description. It's giving me a score of one out of two for my description. I've only got 96 words, and if I click this, I think it will tell me more. So it says I need at least 160 words. And then in the tags, this is really interesting. So it's saying I've got eight tags. And when you open this up, it's saying that I should be using 13 tags. And it's also saying that the more tags you have for your listing, the more searches you can appear in. And it's also saying that my tags need to be less generic and more specific to my actual items. So instead of just tagging YouTube, I want to be saying YouTube branding kit, that kind of thing. So I'm going to be improving my tags with those recommendations. We recommend adding as many attributes to your listing as possible. Your listing has zero attributes. You should add at least two. I'm not actually sure where those attributes go. I'll try and find that on this video. But if I don't find it, please add a link in the description below if you know where those attributes are. I really appreciate your help. And then lastly, free shipping. Obviously, it's a digital download, so there's no shipping. So now that I have seen those recommendations by the listing helper, I want to go and add those to my item and then see if my score improves. So I've already gone ahead and written a new description for my item. This is my new description. I'm going to copy and paste this and add this to my store. I've created these tags based on the recommendations that the listing tool said. So I've made these less generic and more specific. So I've got at least 13 tags. So I'm going to post these into the tags. Where are the tags? Let's find the tags. I'm going to get rid of all of these. So I've added all 13. So those are added. I have a new description, as you can see. And I've added my tags. 
So now that I've made those changes, let's see what the listing helper does when I reanalyze the listing. And you can see that this item now has a score of 92, where previously it had a score of 67. So that is how I'm going to be using the listing helper to improve my listings so that's about it for this video i hope you found this video interesting make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell icon if you've not done so already there's also a link in the description if you want to get access to my etsy shop branding checklist and i'll see you in a future video